Welcome, welcome to the Burst Eye View. I am Randy the War Duck, and uh, I'm glad to have you here. Now, I came across something that uh, just kind of struck me, and with this being one week away from the election, I just thought this was kind of important to point out, so to make sure that you do your part and you go out and vote. So, what happened that I needed to tell you? Well, let's see here. Uh, let's start with Tyler Fish, the comedian. So, Delta Airlines on October 24th or something um, banned comedian for life for a tweet while exercising his First Amendment right. So, what happened? So, Tyler's on, well, first. First, let's 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 go back and let's see what happened um, before this. Right? Is is uh, there's a new there in July? There's a new, there was a new dress code for Delta employees that prohibited employees from wearing pins representing any other country beside that of the U.S. A passenger photo uh, posted a photograph on on X. Uh, a two flight attendants without their consent, which doesn't matter because you can take photographs of people wearing Palestinian flag pins and refer to them as Hamas badges. The post went viral on X and prompted a wave of criticism toward the airline. Shortly after the images were published, Delta officials announced on X, responded, nothing to worry. This is being investigated already. It then added, I hear you and I'd be terrified as well. So then they went and changed the dress code. So, um, so therefore that you can't wear any other flag other than the United States flag. Okay. So now Delta airlines again, that was in July. This is in October, uh, October 24th. Tyler Flish was flying Delta. He took a photograph of a, uh, um, a stewardess and it had an LGBTQ pin. Now, Tyler, being a comedian, he simply asked, Hey Delta, on X, by the way, the same platform, hey Delta, why do I need to know if your employees suck on a kibasa or they lick clams? That's not I mean he used the actual words, but I'm just, you know, I don't want to get banned by by uh YouTube or anything. So um, he asked those two questions, and uh, Delta's response was, you're banned for life. So they didn't ban the person that called them a racist and basically called them terrorists. They didn't ban that guy. They simply changed their policy, but then Tyler they banned um, because he asked the question about why we need to know about the LGBTQ stuff. Very interesting, is it? So my question is here is how is Delta banning people for, for exercising their First Amendment rights and the government not doing anything about it? Because Delta being a private company really can step all over your constitutional rights. But because they receive so much government money, the government should have stepped in and said something about it, which they have not yet. So, but we're not done with Delta yet. Because not only that, two weeks before that, Delta decided that they would uh, try to remove a Marine Corps veteran from a Delta flight because of her t-shirt was threatening. And what was this t-shirt? Well, her t-shirt was in support of, um, of, of ending veteran suicide. And her shirt says, do not give in to the war within end veteran suicide. And that was deemed threatening by a Delta employee and they decided to kick her off the flight or make her change. The Delta employee said that your shirt, the shirt you're wearing is threatening. So by supporting the end of veteran suicide, that is threatening to people and you can be removed from a Delta flight. 
So not only is she a 22-year veteran of the Marine Corps, she was a 15-year vet or at least worked for the Air Force for 15 years. She was going to visit her sister when this happened. And can you imagine that that um, that you're supporting the end of a cause for veterans, you know, that you're supporting veterans to end veteran suicide and you get told that you your shirt is threatening that to me that is completely asinine and i don't understand uh, especially with veteran suicide being so high but they um but delta doesn't seem to care and again exercising your first amendment right seems to be um too much in august a delta passenger was kicked off to fly over his inappropriate shirt what was that shirt he donned a shirt with the likeness of former President Donald Trump holding up two middle fingers. So apparently what it seems to me is if you are even considered remotely a veteran or you are a Republican in any manner, then Delta might just decide to remove you off the flight. And why is this such a big deal? Because they're a private company. Well, they are a private company. However, they got $871 million just, just what, recently. And since the pandemic, they have collected $5.4 billion from the U.S. government in bailout and aid. Well, if you're collecting all this bailout money and aid, why isn't the U.S. government stepping in and saying, hey, Delta, if you're going to walk all over people's First Amendment rights and their constitutional rights, then you will no longer receive any money from the U.S. government. Because that's what the government should be supporting, right? The Constitution? But with our current regime of Kamala Harris, that's not what they're doing. Kamala Harris won't say anything about this. In fact, Kamala Harris is probably cheering this. And that's just wrong. We're a week away from the election, so you need to go out and vote. And I hope you vote red. I hope you vote Republican. And let's get Donald Trump back into office because I don't think Donald Trump would stand up. I don't think he would stand for this. I think he would tell Delta, you're cut off. No more government money or you change your policy. What are you doing, Delta? I'll tell you what now. I won't be flying Delta. I fly for the government. I fly on trips sometimes for travel. I definitely won't be flying Delta ever again. Delta is going to get the Bud Light treatment. And I hope the old saying goes for Delta, go woke, go broke. I hope you do your part. Let's get rid of Delta. Let's go out and vote. Let's get Donald Trump back in the office and let's stop this crazy madness. Um, it just has to stop. Let's go, let's go Trump. Let's go get it done. Much love all.